Hi, Tom from BKMNutrition.com and today's video I want to talk about how to stay on plan with your diet when you are eating out at restaurants or eating out with friends, a birthday party, a uh, buffet, those sorts of things. Now I appreciate at the moment when I'm filming this video we are in a, a COVID um, pandemic so that it might not be relevant to be going out to restaurants or going out for buffets or huge parties with your friend at the moment but of course in the future it will be so this video will be relevant then. So um, the this is a technique I use with clients a lot. Um, generally, people can stick to their diets when they're in their work days and they're, and they're going out with their family. We, we accommodate for reduced calories in the week and then a little bit more on the weekend when they're with their families. But here's the curveball. When you go out to a restaurant with your friends or your family or you're going out for a work deal or something like that, it's very hard to think about, okay, what calories are in those meals? Uh, how can I fit it into my calorie deficit that I've created for myself? Um, and, and so this can be a point of, uh, of incredible stress for people when they're going, uh, when they're trying to lose weight. And it can also be an undoing of your diet because, excuse me, what happens is you go out, you try to stick to your diet and then all your mates are eating your pizzas and the chicken and chips and burgers and everything else. You sat there with your little bit of lettuce thinking, oh, God, this, is, this is rubbish. You know, and then what happens is, yeah, you go and order some some other food, and then you think, well, do you know what? I might as well just just pick out because I'm here anyway. And then you order a pudding, and then some drinks, and blah blah. blah. And before you know it, you're face first in a plate of donuts, wondering what all went wrong. So this is a, a method I use to stop that happening. I've had it happen with clients before, and we've, we've talked about it afterwards. And now this is a, a technique that I teach so that people can pre-plan when they go out and still feel confident about having the foods they like when they're eating out and not feel too worried about looking at the menu and go, oh, I'm gonna order all the stuff. So you, to have this, to make this happen, you have to have a few things in place. You have to have, firstly, you know how many calories you're gonna eat for, for the day or the week on average. You have to know where you're going for um, a meal. Um, you have to have some way, if possible, of uh, predicting the calories in the meal. So a lot of restaurants will have their meals online now and they will have calories associated with those meals online. A lot of, me a lot of uh, menus will have an under 300 calorie option or under 500 calorie option that you can look at. It won't maybe tell you how many calories are in the meal, but it will tell you that it's under 300 calories or whatever. So you need to have some idea about how much you can eat in the day, um, and uh, the the restaurant, the food, the way you go into it, and also how you can um, how you can plan the calories for those meals. So, for example, what what we do with some clients is that they know they're going to say, let's say Nando's. So they they know they're going to Nando's. So <coughs> excuse me. So Nando's can be a real black hole if you look at their double helping of chips, it's a thousand calories. Uh, yeah, and I was shocked when I saw that as well, because um, I regularly eat a thousand calories of chips when I go there. Um, if you look at something like um, some of their sauces, uh, the peri-peri ones are quite low in calories, but if you have the mayonnaise, it's quite high. And obviously if you keep the skin on the chicken, that's also very high. So there's ways of reducing the calories down. Um, so it's to say a client was gonna go to Nando's, we say, right, well, how many calories do you normally have per meal? Let's say it's 500. Okay, let's look on the Nando's website. Let's pre-pick the food that we're gonna have before we go there. And obviously what we can also do, if we know we're gonna be going there regular, because I am a regular at Nando's, I know that if I have the butterfly chicken and the spicy rice and some chips and a, a, a Coke Zero or whatever, I know how many calories are in that. Um, I don't know offhand because I have it written in my little plan thing that I use. So, um, so I know that I can fit it into my, into my diet. So if I know what I'm gonna eat when I go there, I can quite easily say, well, I know that I've got, say that's 3000 calories to have in a day to lose weight. Well, let's say the meals are 800 calories, which I think that's what I think it is. So we know that if we're going to go to Nando's and we're going to have that, we have to take 800 calories off our um, calories for the day, which leaves us 2,200. So then we just eat around those calories for the rest of the day. Now you can use things like my Fitness Pal, uh, Libra app, which I use with my, with my clients, which links into my software. Um, all these things you can use to sort of pre-plan where you're going. And, and even to the point where I said to some clients, look, because some clients will go in there with all the plans in the world thinking, yeah, I'm going to have that, see the menu, or let's have that instead, you know, and then the temptations there because the muncher brain, which I talked about in other videos, comes out and it's your snacking brain. It goes, oh, look at that. That's nice. Let's have that. And then because everyone else is ordering it and you're thinking, oh, I want that. That's when you end up ordering it uh, or feeling depressed because you haven't ordered it and you go home and eat ice cream to make yourself feel better. So what, we, so what I've said to other clients who have this issue is before you go there, you write down what you're gonna have because you've looked at the menu online before, you write down what you're gonna have 
and you have it on a bit of paper. So when you walk in and the, and the waiter comes around, you say, this is what I want, don't give me a menu. And you obviously have to say to your friends as well, don't let them give me a menu or whatever. Um, and your friends on the whole should be supportive of that. If, if you're trying to lose weight, you know, that's what I want to eat. I want to participate in the going out activity, but I don't want to be tempted by the by the menu and all the stuff that's there. And if, and the thing is, you can you can still do this and have like a dessert and all that sort of stuff. If you've pre-planned what the calories are, you just go like that, 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 and give the weight of the menu, that's it. Now, on the off chance that, say, the salmon's off the menu today, like, you know, it always happens, or you go to McDonald's, the milkshake machine's broken, like it always is. You know, you can say, okay, well, I've got my second option. So you might have two options written down, which which the um, uh, which which the waiter can tell the the chef for. Um, now this does seem a little bit OCD or whatever, but you I mean you can just go there and say, well, well I know what I'm going to have, and I'll just order it. But a few people I work with have had the issues where they go in there and they just get tempted by the menu. So I'm just giving you some ideas about what you can do. Um, if you're not sure of the, the calories in a certain restaurant, I've got a ton of restaurant guides, uh, which give you the, uh, for most of the popular restaurants out there, even cinemas and stuff like that, I've got a load of guides. Um, so if you, if, you, if you can't find the calories for the restaurant that you want to go to, just drop me a line, drop me an email, I'll see if I've got it and I'll send it over to you. Very happy to do that if it helps you out. Um, as long as you can plan ahead and you know what you're having. Now, here's the thing. What happens if you actually can't find the calories? Now, we don't want to be in a situation where we're worrying because we can't find the calories, which is causing more stress. So here's what, here's what I do in that situation. If I, was, if I was going to go to a restaurant where I didn't know the calories, I know, I know it's going to be, you know, they're going to put stuff in the, in the, in the food. I can probably say to the, 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 the waiter, oh, can you not, you know, not put any butter on it, not put any mayonnaise on it, um, you know, not put any cheese on it, whatever, you know, um, take out all the obvious things which are high fat, you know, remove nuts, whatever. <clears throat> all those things you can take out and have an obvious, the obvious impact, but you might not know for sure what the, the calories are in the meal. What I would normally suggest for this is that if you say, um, if you say we're going to divide your, your daily calories up into, say, three meals, uh, I would divide your calorie, daily calories up into four meal blocks and have two of those meal blocks and allocate them over to your meal out. So you need to probably have a, if you normally would eat three meals in a day, you probably want to allocate a meal and a half of calories to that eating out. Or for safe bet, I just normally I just normally add a thousand calories. I said I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna eat, it's probably gonna be a thousand calories. So that's what I'm gonna allocate. Um now the thing is if you if it's not a thousand calories, it's under, obviously then you've then you've uh, then you've under eaten for the day, so you've got a little bit more calorie deficit. If it's over a thousand calories, it's probably not gonna be much more than that. Um, but you've mitigated the damage there because you've restricted yourself in the rest of the day, or you can mitigate for the rest of the the, the calories for the week. So say, for example, you're going out, uh, say we don't know you're going out and all of a sudden your friends and family, oh, we're going out for a surprise dinner. You're like, ah, I didn't know where we're going. I was, you know, I haven't been able to plan. Don't stress, don't worry about that. When you go there, just say, right, okay, it's a thousand calories. That's what I'm gonna plan for. That's what I'm gonna have. And, um, and over the next couple of days, you can restrict yourself by say 150 calories a day. So that on average, you bring your total weekly uh, intake um, back to that. Now I do have a tool on my website that you can use to sort of pre-plan and plan out your calories and stuff like that. If you go to bkmnutrition.com forward slash social dash links, there are a load of calculators on there, but also a weight loss tracking sheet which you can use to sort of pre-plan ahead, but also log your, your food intake and weight and steps and stuff like that. It's a free tool, just download it. You need a Google Sheets ID to be able to edit it. So you need to go to the sheet, make a copy, and then you can edit it for yourself or download it as a spreadsheet, or whatever you want to do. Uh, it's a very simple spreadsheet, but it works. Like, it's something I use with my clients. It works really well and allows them to pre-plan their food or if they have overeaten to plan in advance for the next week or so to reduce that. Um, so I hope this video is helpful. I'll give you some, maybe some tips on what to do. Um, I do have a few free tools that can help you with this. Obviously, if you've missed any of those links where I've been talking, just shoot me a, a message over or put in the comments and I'll, uh, and I, and I, and I'll send you the links to them. Um, and so go and enjoy yourself. Make sure you do enjoy yourself when you're going out for food because it's the worst thing in the world. You can go out for a social meal and be that person who's on the diet and all your friends go, oh, he's on a diet again, blah, blah, blah. You know, so if you just go and go, right, yeah, I am, I am looking to lose a bit of weight, but I can plan ahead for my meals. I know I'm gonna have that, that, and that, easy. You know, it reduces the stress on you and reduces the stress on your friends as well. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got something from it. Uh, if you feel that someone could benefit from this by sharing, please do that. 
and please subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel and i will see you on the next video thanks very much